Hi guys, today I'm going to talk about carp fishing confidence and why we all need to have confidence in what we're doing, where we're doing it, how we're fishing, baits, rigs, everything that we're using to catch more fish. So let's get started. Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Hi guys. Thanks for tuning in to my channel and if you're new here, I help you to catch more fish, I help you with reviews, tips, edges and general vlogs about my fishing and how I go about it. So you might want to subscribe if you like that type of carpy video. Hit the subscribe button and if you're already subscribed, hit that bell icon and you won't miss anything. So today, what are we going to talk about? Well, carp fishing confidence. You wouldn't believe the amount of messages I get from you guys out there on my Facebook page, on my YouTube channel, about how you're struggling so much. About how you haven't caught a fish for months, you've been going and you just feel like you're going through the motions and you're generally struggling. Now, this may dispel a few, a few things in fishing, but everybody's been in that boat at one point or another, or they're in that boat at the moment. Not the, I can honestly say there's nobody who goes fishing in the entire world that catches every time they cast out. It just doesn't happen. It just doesn't happen. But what you've got to be is confident in what you're doing. Confidence is 99.9% .9 of my fishing. It's not the latest rig, it's not the latest hook, it's not the latest bait, it's not the latest lake, it's not the latest bit of tackle, it's not the latest umbrella. It's, it's got nothing to, well I wouldn't say it's got nothing to do with it, but it's the confidence factor in using the latest bait, using that bit of tackle, using that hook. You've got to have a confidence in what you're using. If you're confident in anything, you will succeed at it. So many people struggle because they haven't got confidence in themselves in what they're doing. It's all relative. A lot of people, they will say, well, I'm on the lake and Joe Bloggs up there, he's catching, he's had four today, and me and my mate, we've had none. Well, Joe Bloggs might have been here a week already. He might be able to get down here every week and fish for two or three days. Where you guys might only get the odd weekend or every other weekend or one night a week because of the missus. But you've got kids and a family and a full-time job. You know, we've all been there. That's, you know, that's 99% of fishermen, isn't it? So it's got to be relative to what their catches to your catches. So I, I ignore what everyone else does. Unless the lake's full or the lake's packed and you're the only one that's not catching, then you are doing something wrong or I'm doing something wrong. So then you have to change things about, but you've got to have the confidence in what you're doing and what you're using and where you're putting it. That is 99% of fishing, of my fishing. So how do you combat this? How do you combat and how do you get back to being confident? What you can do is go back to what you know. Go back, remember when you've caught a fish. What rig did you use? What bait did you use? What lead setup did you use? You know, you might be using a bottom bait with a size th size eight wide gape with a, you know, a 12 inch rig with an inline lead. Go back to what you know has worked before. That's what I do when I'm struggling. I struggle a lot of the time. I'm not always catching. I struggle just as much as anybody else, just as much as any of these fam famous anglers who are out there catching loads of fish all the time. They struggle as well, believe me. I know most of them, they struggle. They're not all catching all the time. You may see it, but every time they hold a fish up for the camera, oh, he must be catching all the time. Not true. It's just not true, everyone struggles. So go back to what you know works and then move on from there. Have confidence in what you're doing. Go back to what works, the rig, the bait, even go back to the lake where you've caught before if you're struggling on another lake. That's what I do sometimes. If I'm struggling in the winter or in the summer or whenever, I'll go back and think, right, I've got to go and get a bite somewhere. I've got to go and get a bite to get me confidence going to, to, re, to re jig and re give me mojo a bit of a boost so I can catch a few or catch a couple. That's what you've got to do, guys. Don't give up. You know, don't get downhearted. You know, I'd be a liar if I said I didn't get downhearted sometimes, but then I have to really I'd give me this little slap on the head and go, right, look, I know I can catch fish, I know I'm confident, I know the rigs that I use work, I just got to keep on keeping on. Because guys, it really does only take one bite and then the confidence is back and you're rocking and rolling. You're back on it, aren't you? You know, that's, that's, that's the way it is. So guys, be confident. I really hope you like these type of videos. Put your comments down below there. Com comments on, you know, how I've helped you or how you need help or any qu answers to any questions. Or, and I'll try and help you. I really will try and help you. And I will answer every single one. 
always do because that's what it's about it's about the community between you and me and the other guys following this youtube channel a lot of them can answer the same questions as me so if you like these videos please subscribe don't forget to hit the bell icon and i'll see you for the next video are you listening damn Uh-huh.